In this tutorial, I'm going to place the components onto my PCB. Now when placing, you want to make sure that the connectors are on the edge of the board, typically, and components that are connected to each other are close. So you can see as I drag things around, there's all these wires, all these lines. This is called the rat's nest, and it shows me the, the closest connection. So I want to minimize the number of crosses in this rat's nest. Now, while I'm dragging a component, if I hit the space bar, I can rotate it. And if I hit L, it'll flip to the other layer. I can change layers, it'll flip to the other side of the board. But on this simple design, I'll try to keep everything on one side. So I'll start by placing placing my microcontroller. And now I have I have this header. Now I want to put it over here, but this would be a bad choice because all those wires cross. By rotating it, I can make it so all those wires are straight. This is a much better placement. Assuming assuming that it's tolerable for your connector to face this direction. If the connector has to face the other way, then it would probably be best to reorient this chip or to change the these pin assignments so that they're straight. All right. So here we have a similar situation. I'm going to flip this one. Luckily, these headers can go either way. Okay. Now this one, it's not necessarily obvious what the best way to put it is. Luckily, it's fairly sparse. So, I'll put it there for now. Alright, so this test point belongs to this node, so I'll put it nearby. It would not be smart to put it underneath the chip, because it would be very hard to probe that point. Okay, so I believe, oops, I believe this is my power connector here. So I'll put it nearby the near the reset. Let me zoom in a bit. All right, and so here's my filter capacitor. Well, that'll go on my power lines as well. Okay, so I have test point one, which is my reset. So I'll put it there. I'll move the silk screen so it's not over the pins, or over the pads rather. All right, test point two is is VDD or VCC. Test point three is ground. So I'm going to actually put these test points out in the open, away from other objects, so that it's easy to clip on to them. Now these here are my bypass capacitors. Now they can't just go anywhere, they need to go close to the chips that they're... So C2, let's say, is the bypass cap for this at Mega. Now it has power pins all around. So it's probably best to use more than one bypass capacitor. But this is a fairly small circuit, so we'll assume we can get by with just one. Um, so I'm going to put it on the side farthest from my power supply, which is coming from over here, which already has this large filter capacitor. <coughs> and I'll do a similar thing for this chip here. Maybe something like that. Alright, so the placement of this board looks pretty good. Now it's very easy because this is an extremely sparse board, there's not much going on. 
but this is just an example. 